Hello everyone, this is Dinosaur, and I'm going to be playing uh, Final Fantasy VII. This is part 7 of this long, 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 long ongoing series. And the last episode, we found out that Tifa is basically joining a whorehouse. Um, there's a reason behind it, but we don't know what it is yet. And to get in, Cloud is going to dress up like a woman. And I'll be honest with you, when I... A lot of this stuff went over my head when I was younger, so... Uh, this... A lot of the stuff in this part of the game, I would say, could warn an M rating if the graphics were better. But... Our first step is to talk to the dressmaker, because we need a dress. Apparently, the dressmaker is sad and in a slump. So he's just drinking a lot. That's depressing. So our goal is to go find him and bring him back. Uh, apparently we can convince him to do that. We'll do something. Don't you worry. So if we head up to the bar, which is, I believe, in the second screen up here. In. Here he is. Uh, I'd like to point out this person up here, unfortunately, doing the pee pee dance. Someone's been in the bathroom and they're not coming out. This guy's really gotta go. But someone's in there. She is puking. Uh, that's what happens when you drink too much, everyone. Just throwing that out there. So here's the dressmaker. I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. He's very drunk. And Cloud says, make me some clothes. Hmm, why don't you go get something to drink? And that means he just turns around. You know, he always said that just once. He'd like to dress up like a girl. So we're trying to get a cute dress for him. Might be interesting. So he's going to make us a dress. A dress for Cloud. Hmm, we want a dress that feels soft and something that shimmers. And that gets us the best quality dress. I think there's three. Uh, we will be getting the silk dress, which silk is awesome. Um, we could also get satin or cotton. We want the silk. So beyond that, we also need a wig. And if we go in here, we find some manly men. And also this person on a scale. Oh dear, I've gained weight again. One, two, three, squats are all in the rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. Yes, uh, they are bros, believe it or don't. Join the club. Try it with us. Uh, apparently I missed something. I think I have to go back to the dress shop first. Doesn't take him long at all to make us dress, amazingly. That was fast. We have a silk dress. Cloud is less than happy about this turn of events. So he's gonna go in and get changed into his nice new silk dress. How do you put this on? And she's looking inside. It's still not right. You need a wig. So he talked to his friend. <laughs> you know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like you? Uh, what did you tell him? Does it matter? I kind of think it does. This is serious business. I don't know. They may think some things about him that are not exactly true. You the one who wants to be cute. So that woman is actually a man. It doesn't matter here. I mean, the graphics are pretty lousy, so you can't tell. So 
so you've got to compete with us. And that means doing squats. Are you the beautiful bro? Yes, that is a woman. Er, that is a man. That woman is a man. It's like that scene in Ace Ventura. You know what I mean. But, uh, stuff like this, again, uh, it, it's still touchy subjects. So, were this to be very, you know, just good graphically, it might not, it might not fly. This whole section might not fly. The whole cross-dressing and going into a whorehouse, you know? Alright, let's do some squats. It's basically a mini game. It's a rhythm game. All you gotta do is tap square, X, circle in that order. It was a little slow to start, but usually he screws up at least once, and as long as I don't... Ooh, I screwed up. Shit. There he goes. Hopefully, I'm going a little faster than him. It looks like I am. And he just messed up again. So, I should win. He had 17 and you had 18. There we go. You're really something. So, we get a wig. What kind of wig? A blonde wig. Apparently, blonde is the best. Uh, not necessarily saying that blondes, you know, are the most attractive, but perhaps that's the best quality wig or Don Corneo is attracted to blonde. So now we have a wig, and that's the bare minimum. We could just go with this. We could get the wig and the dress and go in, but we can go a little further than that, I think. If we go up here, there's a materia shop, and this guy looks lazy as hell. Hey man, got a minute? I need to talk. He also looks baked. His eyes are red. What is it? Really? I really appreciate it. Young lady, would you turn the other way for a second? Why? Gosh! Alright, here's the thing. He wants to know what they're selling in the vending machine. At the inn. Why don't I buy it myself? I got into a fight with the guy at the inn and can't go in there anymore. Sure, why not? Let's go finished. So now we can go to the inn all the way down here. Occasionally this guy will, hey you two, why don't you get some rest? We have a beautiful room. How about it? Alright. Welcome. It'll be ten guild per night. Ah, easy peasy. He means this. And if we buy the most expensive, I made sure I had enough money for this, by the way. So we get whatever it was. There's no way to tell until we go talk to the guy in the materia shop. Thank you very much. Please come again. I still have a lot of money. This is awesome. Always, always, always good to be ahead on money in any RPG. Friggin', I'm playing Breath of Fire 4 and never have enough money. It's awful. On the other hand, because I'm grinding for money, I'm getting severely overleveled. So. What is it? A protein drink set. You can buy a protein drink set in a vending machine. So he's going to give us... The Diamond Tiara. So that's nice. That's that's another, another piece of the puzzle that we can use. Uh, what else is there? If we go in here... Welcome. Sit wherever you like. Have a seat over here. The only open seat. This is a diner. So what do we have? We can get the Korean barbecue plate, the sushi plate, or whatever today's special is. Um, personally, I love sushi. I love Korean barbecue. Oh, God. I haven't been there in so long. And today's special, I don't know, whatever. We're going for the Korean barbecue. You pay up front, 70 gil. No problem. Just, it cost me 70 gil for a meal, but only 10 to stay a night at a hotel. Just want to throw that out there. There you go. 
was alright. I've had better dog food, ouch. Thank you. Here's an item coupon for the pharmacy. You can exchange it for one item there. We're out of coupons, so we stopped giving them away. Watch for our next promotion. So now we have a pharmacy coupon, which if we take it to the pharmacy, which is down here. Talk to him. Whoa! Why don't you say something if you're standing there? Oh, you have a coupon. Then please select any one medicine you like. Let's get the digestive. Here you are. Also, I want to talk to him because I think he has some items I want. Uh, hypers and tranquilizers. Here we go. Whoa, that was expensive. Shoot. Alright. Uh... Alright, the gimmick with these items is that they give you certain certain status effects. Uh, one of which is Fury. Fury causes you to take a little more damage, but your, your limit gauge also fills up fast because you take more damage. And that item, my friends, is how I am going to cheese the limit break system a little. Tranquilizer's Cure Fury. They cause sadness. Sadness um, is the opposite. Well, you take as much damage, but your limit break doesn't fill as quickly. So, we take our digestive medicine, we give it to this poor sick woman in here. Thank you. And she gives us some sexy cologne. Yeah. And now we have to wait as she walks all the way out, and the, the PP dance guy runs in. And he will stay in here for the rest of the game. If I remember, way like at the end of the game, I will come back and prove it. So let's go down here. And this is where it's going to get awkward. Nope, I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't be able to get in without it. So now we have a member's card. To what, you may ask? Well, to the Honey Bee Inn. Please, please. Hey, is that a member's card I see shining in your hot little hand? Awkward. Please, come in. Hmm. That's how you'll fool them. I don't know what that means, but Cloud's gonna run in, and Air stays outside. And here we are, in the Honey Bee Inn. Who, I, uh, mean, sir, hurry. So, we can actually only go into two rooms, I believe. We can go into this room, which is where they're getting ready. <laughs> sir, you can't come in here. Yuck, a pervert. Now, wouldn't he be a pervert anyways for coming in here? The delicate type. Just ignore him. Damn. So they actually feel bad for Cloud. Maybe we come back out and she tells us to hurry up. But we can we can uh, sneak in. Let's take a peek into the lover's room. Wow. Ooh, you hear that music? We can actually move our sight a little. So there's an, an older woman and an older man. And they're just chilling. What's wrong, Grandpa? You keep sighing. You know, Grandma... You talking about this room... is also a little... Oh, look, it's... Hey, I never noticed that. I know our son rented this for us and all, but... It's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub. I just can't get comfortable. Don't worry about it. It's a high-class neighborhood in the big city. You keep complaining and we'll get in trouble. And I think this room gets a little weird, actually. The queen's room. Let's take a listen. That sounds a little odd. So let's, uh, let's take a peek. Wow!
Whoa. Whoa. What's that guy? The wind's calm now. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved queen does not awaken. This is weird. The time is ripe. The legend has been passed on through generations. Hey, shouldn't we stop him soon? We have a luncheon with President Shinra. You tell him. You can't tell him. Come on! Oh well. A legend has been passed on through generations. I'm so disgusted with the president. It's like this every time we have a business trip to Midgar. We come all the way to Midgard just for this. By the way, I'm reading the text boxes. If you read the white text, there's a little bit of spoilers going on there. What are you complaining about? You're just holding the lights. I've got to wear this heavy armor. I know, I know, but it's all part of the job. Oh yeah, did you hear? The president's wife found out about this little hobby of his. Ha <laughs> ha! No way! That's the first I've heard of it. Oh, looks like he's done. Jeez, Mr. President, I mean, your majesty. Please remove the ancient curse. I don't know what was going on in there, to be honest. Just a little odd. So this is the group room. Let's go for it. Let's go into the group room. Alright, now all we have to do is enter the room. You're not going to have a change of heart, are you? Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Jeez, this one's probably the violent type. Well, in we go. Alright, please. I thought she started to say something, but... She has locked the door. This way, please. So here's a nice bed. Ooh, is that a hot tub? Shall we begin? I guess since you chose this room, that would mean you... hate being lonely? Let's go for the, uh, the emo response. I'm used to being alone. I'm always alone. Alright, alright. Jeez, you're so moody. Come on, everyone's waiting. Uh, what am I doing? Here they are. And this is also where, um... The mature rating might come into play with better graphics. Here's some of the guys from the gym. And this guy's name is Mookie. What's up? Smile, smile, smile. Oh, man. What should I do? I'm out of here. I've got no time to mess around with you. Out of my way. Ugh. Don't be so embarrassed. Loosen up, Bubby. Let's wash off all our sweat and dirt together. What's up? I think... Oh my lord. <laughs> You're the intimate type, huh? Uh, they're stripping him here. And yes, this isn't... This would be... Very awkward. It's really awkward now, even. It isn't bathing great. It soothes your heart. How is it, Bubby? Feels good, huh? Oh god. <laughs> They're both so awkward. I don't feel good. Let me out. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Try counting to ten. How old are you? Eight. Twenty-one. You're less than half my age. I'm so jealous. So how about it? Do you want to join my young bubbies group? No. Maybe in another life. Well, if that's how you feel, too bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. And Cloud is out of here. By the way, that whole thing about... Ooh, so awkward. That whole thing about the cabin up in the woods, we'll actually see this guy again, I think once or twice throughout the game. So remember Mookie. He'll be around. This is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. And he gives us uh, some underwear. Hope we meet again.
This is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this? Well, it's, if it's to save Tifa, I guess there's no way around. So we're done here. But, there's one more thing we can do. If we go up here, and talk to, I believe, the one on the left again. Seems like I could put makeup on here. I have a favor to ask of you. Can you put makeup on me too? Oh my. And if you look, he's actually got a little bit more eyelash going on there. It's hard to tell with the graphics and all, but it's it's there. Oh. Please remember any personal belongings. Let's... we're... I want flowers too, but I get so nervous in front of cute girls. It just seems natural to get cautious. Alright, so, we have everything we need now. We have... let's go into our items. Check out our key items. We have our silk dress. Our blonde wig, our sexy cologne, which amorously arouses, the diamond tiara, our membership card, and the bikini briefs. Along with those five items, we also have makeup on. Now the question is, why would we actually go to all that trouble? Sure, we want to look convincing, but uh, why? Just to not be suspicious? No, there's actually a reason. But uh. I'm actually going to cut it here. So this episode, I learned that it takes a lot of work to cross-dress. Next episode, we will see the fruits of our labor. And it will be gloriously awkward. So next time, guys, cross-dressing. Uh, threatening a testicular violence. And maybe some battles. Maybe even a boss. Alright. So next time, all those things I said. Bye-bye.